clap sync. Beep. Done. Hello, everybody. My name is Alex. Wait, no. Oh. My nose itch. Hello, everybody. My name is John C. I'm Gary. And we're Chief Mates. And so, um, this is our second week in a row. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to do it. That's my mischievous face. Yeah. Cat. So, um, we decided that we're gonna have a theme to every Thursday's vlog. So, um, the. We decided that every Thursday we're gonna have a themed vlog now. So, what we're gonna be calling our series is What's in Our Disc Tray? And guess what? You can join in too. But get it in the comments and tell us what's in your disc tray and what you like about what's in your disc tray, no matter what it is. Mm -hmm. Don't change it. So, every Thursday on What's in Our Disc Tray, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be talking about what games we're currently playing and what game is in our disc tray at the moment. Uh, we're gonna be talking about um, oh my god. Your cat's butthole is like the right there. Stop looking at my cat's butthole. Well, it looks like freaking the those fucking things. The pretzel thing. You know what I'm talking about? The pretzel um uh, I keep wanting to call them dominoes, then I call them dominoes. The pretzel uh, I'll, I'll put a picture. I just forgot what they're called. But I got cat butthole in my face right now. No, you don't. Well, not anymore, but I did. So every week on What's in Our Disc Tray, we're going to be talking about the games that's currently in our disc tray. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about uh, the game itself, what we like about the game, and why we recommend that game to you. Or whether or not we don't recommend that game to you. So um, to start this off, I'm going to be talking about what uh, game is in my disc tray, which I actually don't know. Um, no. You gotta, you gotta like, you gotta separate it. You gotta separate it from the vlog, from the what's in the district. Cause you gotta get your mic. Oh, are we gonna use that mic? No, yeah. not this week. No, oh, well, never mind. So, I'm gonna be talking about what's in my disc tray today. So, um, I don't know what's in my disc tray, so I'm just gonna be talking about what I've been playing and what I think I might actually be in my disc tray. Um, in my Xbox 60 disc, in my Xbox 360 disc tray is probably a Naruto game. Um, it's a fighting game. Uh, it's based off the Naruto series. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Naruto series, then you need to go educate yourself. Starbucks. This vlog brought to you by Starbucks. Not really. So, uh, it's really fun. It's a very, very easy fighter. Uh, no. Oh, it's so easy. No, it's not! It's easier than the, 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 the Street Fighter. Depending on... It's easier than no, Street Fighter. No, it's, it's, so it's pretty easier. hard. It's not hard. It's it's when, it's hard to get used to. But there's not a lot of button mechanics to it. There's only like three buttons, True. and it makes it really easy to fight. It makes it easy for people who don't play fighter games to pick up and understand. It's very fast paced though, which is why I like it. Um, but I haven't played that much recently, so I'm actually going to talk about the games I have been playing. Um, I've been playing Polybridge, which is a Steam game where you build bridges. Kind of stuck. I've been playing Polybridge, which is a game on Steam where you build bridges using uh, basic structural techniques such as like trusses and suspension, stuff like that. Super, super nerdy, but it's a ton of fun to play. I've been playing that a lot. Um, I've also been playing a lot of Ark Survival uh, Evolved, which is also a ton of fun. Um, now, why I would recommend those games to you, why I wouldn't recommend those games to you. Ark is a great game. It has a lot of substance to it. It's in early access, so there's still a little bit of bugs, but it's, it releases patches every single day. Uh, and the price isn't too hefty. It's about $22 to $25 right now. And uh, if you love survival games and if you love dinosaurs, Ark is great uh, because you start off with nothing, you get to tame dinosaurs, you get to build structures, you get to make uh, clans or tribes, and you get to have a ton of fun. You can play private or you can play on public servers. And for Polybridge, Polybridge is really cool because it's really cheap, it's only like 10 bucks. And uh, there's a lot to the game. It's very, very difficult. It, I've, from watching Let's Plays to playing it myself, it's, there's a huge learning curve to it. And it's a lot more difficult than it looks, which makes it a ton of fun because you have to find creative ways to make these bridges within a certain budget and whatnot. Um, so that's what's in my disc tray. So what's in your disc tray, Gary? Nothing. Because I have it with me. 
I am playing Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain, which I've been waiting years and years upon years to play. And so has a lot of people. And decided that I didn't, I didn't need to pay my phone bill today, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get that game. But but seriously, he actually decided that. I did, and it was worth it, 100%. But, um, I don't want to talk too, too much about like the game in detail, because I know it's very new, it's, um, but uh, from what I've played, the prologue is about two hours. Yep. Two hours of a movie. Yep. No. No. It's actually not that bad, uh, cinematic-wise, so far. Um, it's just ridiculous. All I'm going to say is at one point in time, there's a flaming whale being thrown at you. Sweet. I, I love flaming like, whales. A, like a big fucking... Like, I thought it was a ship. It was a whale that was on fire. It wasn't on fire. It was a giant gay whale. It was coming straight for you. Hi! Ooh. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I've been put... I haven't gotten a chance to put very many hours into it, because obviously I work a lot. And, but it's amazing. It's, the graphics are, at one point in time, I didn't know if I was watching an actual like live action clip or if I was playing the game. And at this point, I don't even wanna know. I'm just gonna assume it was live action. I'm gonna assume that Kiefer Sutherland was on a damn horse in Afghanistan and trip, just chilling, no big deal. Just hanging out. It's hard. That's one thing about the game, it is actually hard. You do have to actually think. Uh, it's not made like very many other Metal Gear Solid games where you are in one area and you just have to sneak your way past that one area. You don't really move around too, too much. This map is huge. It's huge. I actually got the map in the game case and it's huge. It's big. It's bigger. It has to be bigger than Skyrim's map. Definitely. But it looks amazing. The AI is a lot smarter. You have a lot more equipment, things like that. You have to think a lot, keep on your toes, monitor yourself, sound, smell, sight, stuff. But you'll get it. You'll get it, honey. Go ahead now. It's bad stuff. And that is what is in my district. Now, would you recommend that game? Hell yeah, I recommend that game. I, I recommend selling a limb for $63 and some change to get that game. There if you have it. Yeah, there you go. So um, this is our first segment of What's in Your Disc Tray? And so uh, we would love for you to go in the comment section and tell us what is in your disc tray at the moment. We'd love to know what you're currently playing and uh, let us know whether you recommend it or not. And if you actually pick up one of the games that we're playing based on our recommendation. Don't spoil it. I'll kill you. I won't kill you. But... We would love. We would love to know what you think about the game that we recommended, whether or not it was worth the recommendation that we gave you. So um, that's it for this episode. We are going to see you next Thursday. We're gonna be doing this every Thursday, talking about what's in our disc tray. We're gonna try to mix it up a bit to try to make sure that we're not talking about the same games every week. So um, please uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know uh, what you think about this new vlog series down below. And um, Hopefully, uh, we'll be doing this a lot more and we'll be able to expand y'all's gaming library and y'all will be able to expand our gaming library. So uh, that's it for this week. Uh, thanks so much. Once again, I'm Alex. And I... Uh, I'm gonna drink some more coffee. But my name is Gary. There you go. And uh, we'll see you next time, guys. <sighs> Deuces. Refreshing. I'm pretty sure you said refleshing. Refleshing.